Dividing by zero has always been a problem. For example, take the number one over zero. What is it really equal to? Well, if you type it into a calculator, what would you get? Well, of course you would get undefined or math error because one over zero is actually multiple values, which is crazy. So that's why we can't define it. So first I'm gonna show why Dividing by zero always gives you undefined. So, the first way that we're going to prove this is we're going to actually have multiple ways. And we're going to, first, the first way that we're going to prove this is by setting our number equal to a variable x. So, x equals 1 over 0. And what we're going to try to do is solve for x. So, then we know what 1 over 0 is, right? So, by solving, first we just multiply by 0, because that's what we're supposed to do to get rid of the, the bottom of the fraction. And then, once we're done with that, we'll get 0 equals 1. Huh, that's pretty confusing, because we just saw that 1 over 0, x, it has to be some sort of value, but when we multiply by 0, we end up getting... 0 equals 1, and this is not possible, which means that x must be undefined. Another way to prove this is by using graphs. So, let's say our equation is y, x, y is 1, or you can write this as y equals 1 over x. Now, what this gives us, I'm just going to draw a line to separate this. So this is our equation right here, y equals 1 over x. And when we actually graph this, so, sorry, it's pretty bad. Um, trying my best right now. Um, so once we graph this, we'll get something that looks kind of like this. And this is right here, this is the first line. And the second line goes like this, and they're symmetric. They're symmetric over this line. And of course, this is a really bad drawing, but just it, it sort of makes sense. And so what first it starts out small and it starts going up, up and it goes to infinity. So when x is zero, so x when x is on this line, then y equals one over zero. And that's exactly what we're looking for right now. So let's see when x is 0. When x is 0, we look, and these things seem to be heading toward infinity, which is actually true. Well, this one is heading towards negative infinity. So by concluding that that is true, then therefore y equals infinity and negative infinity, which again is not possible because we can't give two values to the same thing. So that's another reason why dividing by zero is not a good idea, and it will always end up with undefined. And another way to do this is kind of the same thing, which is by s stating the fact that, okay, so we know that 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 0 0.1 is 10. 1 over 0 0.01 is 100, and we keep going down until we get down to 1 over 0. And this seems to be, from our predictions, it seems to be infinity, right? But we can also go the other way by stating that negative 1 over 1 is negative 1. And, wait, sorry. We can state that 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. 1 over negative 0 0.1 is also is negative 10. And we go down, keep going down, till we get 1 over 0, which is at infinity, equals negative infinity. And as we see, this is impossible. And this is the same as what we did with our graph, as we see that it, it starts approaching, these, these lines start approaching infinity, and they just go up like this. And once they reach infinity, they 
kind of, even if 1 over 0 does have a value, if we gave 1 over 0 a value, this is what would happen with our graph. So let's go back to our graph. And wait a sec. And here's our graph and our lines going up. Sorry, wait, let me just fix this. Ah. And this. Okay. And if this had a, if this line, if this had a value, like it kept going up and also it kept going down, and we assume that 1 over 0 has only one value and just one value, then we are assuming that at this graph, at this infinitely long points, infinitely far away, these points. After they reach zero, once it touches the line, they will immediately meet somehow, like in some point. So at the very end, they will meet somehow, like maybe just like curve around. And that's literally kind of impossible unless you can imagine that, which is kind of weird. And that's why we make one over zero undefined. So I hope you enjoyed and Please remember to like and subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos. And this is very bad handwriting. Okay, thanks for watching.